Hi everyone, my name is Jess and today I'm going to be guiding you through a yoga sequence that will be focusing on opening up the chest with some heart opening postures and we're going to be doing a little bit of twisting and a couple of balancing poses too. So if you have any props that you would like to use, I have my yoga blocks here and I also have my yoga blanket. You can grab those if you have them and would like to use them and then we'll get started. Move all of your props out of the way except a block if you have one. Place it on your mat lengthwise in line with your spine. We're gonna come into a supported fish or reclined butterfly. You want the block in line with your spine in between your shoulder blades. So wiggle around a bit, get comfy. Your arms can be resting on your belly or down by your sides. Take a moment to just notice your breath. Notice how it feels. Notice how it sounds. Just take notice of the inhales and the exhales they flow in and out of your nose. Throughout this practice, come back to your breath. Use your breath to help guide you, to help keep you focused, to help keep you here in the present moment. Maybe you set an intention for your practice. That intention can be anything from something you would like to cultivate, or maybe it's just to have a great day. Whatever it is, stay connected to that and come back to that if you find your mind wandering. If you are laying on a block, place your feet firmly on the mat if they aren't there already and slowly roll over to one side to remove it. Placing the block out of the way, come up into a seated position with your legs crossed out in front of you. Find a comfortable position here. You can sit on a block or a blanket to lift your hips. You can place your hands on your knees, or maybe one on your chest, one on your belly. Keep your gaze soft or your eyes closed. Find that connection again with your breath. Taking a deep inhale, deep in the belly, up through the chest and the neck. Time. Inhale, belly, chest, throat, exhale, throat, chest, belly. You can deepen your connection with your breath and find balance by making the duration of your inhales and exhales the same. On an inhale for one, two, three, exhale, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, exhale, three, two, one. Try that two times with your own breath. Great. Swing your legs around and behind you, coming into tabletop. Your shoulders are stacked directly over your wrists. Your hips are directly over your knees. 
about hip width distance apart. Your fingers are spread wide, finding that connection, gripping the ground. Your head is neutral and in line with your spine. Maybe there's a slight bend in your elbows. You can place a blanket under your knees for more support here too. Inhale, drop the belly towards the mat, lift the gaze, cow. Exhale, press the mat away, dome and around the spine, cat. Inhale, into cow. Exhale, round dome the spine, cat. Inhale, belly drops, gaze lifts. Exhale, round the spine, bring the chin to the chest, cat. Take this a couple of times with your own breath. You're welcome to take some circles, maybe coming back down into child's pose. Take this movement with your breath. Switch the directions of your circles if you haven't already. Coming back to a neutral tabletop position, start to inch your fingertips towards the top of the mat, extending your arms down long. Slowly start to lower your chest, keeping your hips lifted, melting your heart onto the mat. You can rest your forehead. this extended puppy pose, remember to breathe. Opening up the chest as we press our heart firmly and closely to the mat, if that feels comfortable. Slowly start to walk your hands back up into tabletop. Roll your neck from side to side. If at any point anything in this practice feels uncomfortable, remember to back off and listen to your body. Tuck your toes, send your hips up and back, pressing into downward facing dog. You can pedal out your feet here. Your fingers are spread wide. Your hips are lifting up towards the sky. Head is in line with your spine. Make sure you're breathing. Tiptoe your way to the top of the mat and on your way, grab a block and place it in between your feet directly in front of you. I have mine on the medium setting. Hang here for a bit. You can place your hands on the block. Placing your left hand on the block, inhale your right arm up and open to the right side. Exhale, back down, taking your right hand to meet your left. Head hangs heavy. Place your right hand on the block and extend your left arm out Bring your left hand back down to meet your right. Make sure there's a little bit of motion in your legs. You can bend your knees if you need to. We're not locking out our legs here. Slowly start to roll up, one vertebrae at a time. Your head is the last thing to come up. In mountain pose. With your feet hip width distance apart, Planted firmly, energy extending all the way up through the crown of your head. Standing tall, energy shooting out from your fingertips. Maybe you find something to focus on. 
Inhale your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, cactus them or goal post them out to the side, slightly lifting the chest. Inhale, back up, keeping your shoulders down away from your ears. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, up one more time. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into high plank and lower down through chaturanga or lower your knees down. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal it out. Really find that rotation in your arms as you press your hands into the mat. Tiptoe your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to stand. Exhale, float right back down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to high plank, or maybe you jump back into chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take two breaths. Lift your right leg towards the sky and sweep it through in between your hands, coming up into warrior one. Spin your back heel down on the mat. Your front knee is stacked over your front heel. Hips are square to the front. You can bring your arms to heart center. Take your hands around behind your back, coming into a bind, lifting and opening the chest, making sure your front knee isn't tracking over to the right. Exhale, bow in between on the inside of your right leg, coming into humble warrior. Making sure you're squeezing your outer hips together. Your hips are still facing the front, generally. Come back up into warrior one. You can release the bind. Place your hands outside of your right foot. Take your right foot back to meet the left. Exhale, take your vinyasa. Your chaturanga, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg high, sweep it through. On your inhale, come up to warrior one. On the left. Hips are square. Clasp your hands behind you, coming into a bind. Extending up, opening the chest. Start to hinge at your torso, coming into Humble Warrior. Slowly inhale back up to Warrior One. Undo the clasp. Place your hands to the outside of your left foot. Step back with your left foot into plank and slowly lower down to your belly. Extend your arms out to a T. With your left arm, your left hand underneath your left shoulder, right arm extended, roll over onto your right side body. You can roll over onto your shoulder for a nice chest opening. You can rest your head on the mat. Your leg can be behind you, your left leg. You can be down on the mat or stacked on top of your right, whatever feels comfortable. Roll over onto your belly. Extend your left arm out to the side. Put your left temple on the mat and place your right hand underneath your right shoulder. Roll over onto your left side gently.
Roll back over onto your belly. And bring your arms in by your sides with your forearms underneath you, just a little bit out to the side. You're gonna lift up, pressing into your forearms. Your shoulders are stacked over your elbows. Coming into Sphinx pose. The tops of your feet are pressing into the mat. You're sending energy out through your toes. Maybe pulling the mat closer with your forearms. Exhale, lower down, bring your forearms parallel to one another and rest your forehead on your arms. Coming back to your hands, press up through tabletop into child's pose. Send your knees wide, bring your toes together and your hips are reaching back towards your heels. Arms extended long or down and around by your legs. From child's pose, slowly start to roll up, placing your hands on the mat and press into downward facing dog. Lift your right leg towards the sky. Exhale, step your foot in between your hands, bend your back heel down, warrior two. Your hips are open to the side, your shoulders are open, your arms are extending to the front and back of your mat, back heel is spun down. Front foot can be in line with the arch of your back foot if that's comfortable. If you have a block nearby, grab it and place it on the outside of your right foot. Straighten your right leg. Send your hips back in space as you would reach forward, hinging at the waist into triangle pose. You can have your gaze up towards your left hand if your hand is reaching towards the sky. You can look down towards your right foot Move that block slightly in front of your right foot and straight in your right leg, coming up to standing. Lifting on your right heel, pivot your right toes to the left side of your mat and begin to hinge forward, coming into wide leg forward fold. Clasping your hands behind you, you can extend them up towards the sky, deepening this stretch. Slowly start to roll back up. Turn your right foot back towards the front, your toes towards the front of the mat, coming into warrior two. Flip your front palm, inhale up and over into reverse or peaceful warrior. Exhale into extended side angle. You can take that block, place it in front of your right foot, Extend your left arm up towards the sky, or maybe over your left ear. Taking that block with you in your right hand to the outside of your right foot, bump your left foot in a bit, and slowly start to straighten your right leg as you float the back leg into half moon. Hips are open to the left side of your mat. Gaze can be down towards your hand. Make sure you're concentrating on your breathing. Take your gaze up for a challenge. <sighs> Coming back down into warrior two. Pivot on your back foot, cartwheel your hands down towards the mat, flowing through your vinyasa. Great. We're gonna take that on the left side. Inhale your left leg high. 
Exhale, step your left foot through in between your hands. Spin your back heel down, warrior two. Grabbing that block if you have one to the outside of your left foot. Straighten your left leg, send your hips back. Extend forward with your left arm, coming into triangle pose. Find what's comfortable. Keep that space in between your left, your left hip and your left thigh. Coming back up to stand, pivot and lift on your left heel, pivoting your left toes to the right side of your mat. Forward fold. You can clasp your hands behind your back. Standing through the pose, holding deeper. Inhale, slowly start to roll up. Exhale, back into warrior two. Flip your front palm, inhale, back to peaceful warrior. Exhale. Start making your way into extended side angle. Bring that block in front of your left foot, extending your right arm up towards the sky, keeping that space still in your left hip, maybe reaching your arm up and over. Inhale, back up to warrior two. Grabbing that block, coming to the outside of your left foot, Bump your right foot in and slowly start to straighten your left leg as you lift the right into the air for half moon. Coming back down through warrior two. Pivot your back foot, cartwheel your hands down towards the mat. Exhale, step back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Drop your knees towards the mat. Send them wide if you would like. Send your hips back into child's pose. Walk your fingertips over to the right, reaching for your right wrist with your left hand, or maybe reaching for your fingertips. Inch your fingertips over to the left, reaching for your left wrist with your right hand, or maybe your fingertips. Bring your hands back out in front of you and press up into tabletop. From tabletop, inhale your right arm out to the side. Exhale, thread it through underneath your left, bringing your left, sorry, your right temple onto the mat, and your right shoulder, sending your right hips back over to the right. back up through tabletop, placing your right hand down on the mat to meet the left. Inhale, extend the left arm out to the side. Exhale, thread it through underneath your right. You can extend your right hand out long, reaching forward. Coming out of that pose, back up through tabletop. You can take another cat-cow if you would like. 
and we're gonna come down onto our backs. Grab a block if you have one and just keep it handy on your side. Roll down onto your back, placing your feet on the mat, feet wide. Start to windshield wiper your knees to the right, up through center and over to the left. Inhale up through center, exhale over to the right. Take that a few more times with your own breath. All that hip opening, we're doing some counter restorative movements. Grab your block if you have one and bring your feet a little bit closer together than they were when they were the width of the mat. Your hands are just shy of your ankles, of your heels. And your hands can be planted into the mat or you can turn your palms up to the ceiling. You're going to lift your hips up towards the sky, bringing your chest into your chin, coming into bridge. You're welcome to take that block and place it underneath your hips for a more restorative and supportive posture. Wherever you are, just breathe. Slowly lift your hips if you have a block beneath them and remove the block, slowly lower down. Windshield wiper your legs again if you need. Extend your legs up towards the ceiling with your the bottom of your feet pointing up towards the ceiling, coming into waterfall. You can take your block and place it back under your hips if you would like. Crossing your right leg in front of your left, stacking your knees, bend your legs and reach for opposite ankles, pulling your knees and your thighs into your chest, coming into a reclined cow face pose. You should feel this stretch in your outer hip, your outer right hip, maybe a little bit in the glutes. Extend your legs back up to the sky, switching the cross with your left in front of your right, bending both knees, reaching for opposite ankles, grabbing and pulling into your chest. Working with your breath to pull your legs closer. Undo the cross of your legs, pulling your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Keeping your knees pulled into your chest, shift your hips over to the left, sending your knees over to the right, coming into an easy twist. You can take your gaze over to the left, extending your arms out to a T. We're placing your right hand on top of your left knee. Bringing your legs back up into your chest with your back on the mat. Move your hips over to the right, send your knees over to the left. Gaze can stay up towards the ceiling or over to the right. Great. 
bringing your knees back into your chest one last time. Give yourself one big hug here. And when you're ready, extend your legs long down on the mat, making sure your props are out of the way. You're welcome to grab any props. If you have a blanket, you can rest it on top of your hips or under your knees. Find that position that's comfortable for you to let everything go. Relax into your mat. Let go of your breath. Relax your jaw. Let the, your tongue fall from the roof of your mouth. If you would like to stay in Shavasana for a little bit longer, another five, 10 minutes always feels pretty good. But if you're ready to come up now with me, wiggle your fingers and toes, and slowly roll over, waking up your body into a fetal position. Thank your body for guiding you through this practice, for using your breath and coming back to your intention. Slowly roll up, coming into an easy seat. You can keep your eyes closed or blink your eyes open. Inhale your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. I want to thank you all for practicing with me, and I hope to see you again on the mat.